Hey guys, Jason with CV Customs. So today in our shop we've got a 1996 three quarter ton Dodge Ram with a 5.9 Cummins and a P pump. It's actually, that's what a lot of people are after when they're looking at the 12 valves is the P pump. A lot of people have different opinions on the P pump versus the VE. That's the one where the lines come out of the back of the injection pump on, on the back. So the big difference, guys, it's not what they do factory. At the factory level, they, they're pretty comparable. You can go a lot further with horsepower and everything you're chasing. I mean, it's a diesel, so it's really talking about torque. But you can take the engine a lot further with a P-pump than you can with a VE. This one happens to have the P-pump. Now, the customer brought it in. <clears throat> I'm going to break this up into little pieces because there's a lot of stuff. The back of this truck is full of parts. Um, we're going to turn this thing up. Now what we're going to start with is replacing the injectors with some 200 horsepower injectors. Nothing fancy. This guy just pulls, uh, he does a little bit of car towing like some of those hot shot guys. So what we're going to, we're going to start with the injectors. But while we have it open, we're going to do two things. We're going to check the compression because we're gonna have the injectors out anyways. So I'm gonna show you how to check the the, uh, the compression. We're gonna drop the new injectors in. If we find low compression on a cylinder or two, we're gonna adjust the valves. We're gonna check the valves anyways, but we'll adjust the valves and then recheck to see if it changes our compression. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It might just be fine. The truck ran fine coming in. He's trying to get more horsepower out of it. So that's where we're going. So, without further ado, I'll show you what I've already opened up. It was kind of an afterthought to do the video on this, and then I realized there wasn't a lot of stuff on just this specific style of truck. Um, yeah, so let's, let's do it. Okay, so before I show you what we're jumping into on that, I'm going to kind of show you all the parts this guy got. So you got uh, new 4-inch exhaust, the Banks Twin Ram, uh, new fuel plate. We'll show you how to do that. You got a new turbo. These are some hanger parts. The turbo's in here. Um, not 100% sure what the turbo is, but uh, we'll go over all that when we get there. Uh, fast fuel. New exhaust manifold turbo clamps. Even uh, got some stuff to do with train horn. Maybe we'll get to that as we go here. So we're going to start with our injectors. Let's get back over here. So what I already did, because like I said, this uh, this video is a little bit of an afterthought, but I went ahead and pulled all of my fuel lines. The next thing I did, you don't have to take everything off, but I, I did because I'm changing all this stuff. Now the guy also wants to uh, fix some of these oil leaks. You see that? So we're going to do that. So I've already pulled the uh, the valve covers for the most part. Just the back two I got to get off. Um, all the injectors are out. Nothing really to say about taking out the injectors. It's 15 16 wrench. And they just come out. If they do get stuck though, quick uh, quick trick here. Show you what I did. I had one get stuck. This guy was in the back. I just took the fuel line after I had the nut completely off. This is the the nut. After I had the nut completely off take the fuel line, put it on, and then I take regular flathead screwdriver and I get right underneath it. You want to catch it right here, right? You don't want to hit the injector and you don't want to hurt your threads. So you don't want to pry on it and mess up your threads. That's why I did it that way. Now, as far as the injection compression test here for, well, the injector adapter for the compression test, no spark plugs on these things. So you got to go into the injector port on a gas engine. We're just going to go into our into our uh, spark plug port but on a diesel engine we're going to go into our ejector port now some engines you're going to go into the glow plug port but this is a 5.9 cummins no glow plugs this thing works completely on compression so what we want to see is over 400 i found that for this thing to just fire up it's got to see 400 pounds of compression just just to make it work so the first thing we're going to do Let's take our adapter, go put it in our first one. Let's get over here. 
All right, all the lines are removed and you see all the injection ports open. Injector ports, all right. We'll start with number one, right there. All right, I'm gonna screw this down. Uh, I'm gonna get the socket. So I'll get that tightened up, grab the socket, and then uh, show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, our adapter is tight now. So now we've got our gauge. It's just a quick coupler. Set this guy over there. So I'm trying to do this. Now I will end up showing you each cylinder, but I don't have to show you, show me hooking everything up each time. I'm not trying to waste everybody's time. Okay, real quick. Make sure you set it out of the way because we have the valve covers open. We don't want any of the rockers hitting our gauge. Next thing, you're going to unplug this little three prong. This is for the injection pump. So what we're doing is we're telling the injection pump not to send fuel. We just want to turn it over, see what the compression is. So now it won't send fuel and we will go ahead and cover these up. Now that I've shown you guys the top of the P pump, we don't want any debris getting inside of our injection pump. Okay, cylinder one, here we go. I'll uh, keep you guys on the loop here for the first one and then we'll just do cylinder two, three, four, five, six and just show you the compressions on each one. So again, we can look out there and see that no fuel's coming out. So I counted to six on the crank. Let's see what kind of pressure that gave us. Just over 400. Now that gauge jumps from, or in hundreds. So that, I'd say that's close to 410 PSI, cylinder one. All right, so now we'll do the, the other five and I'll just show you the compressions and then uh, we'll move on. All right, we're on cylinder two now. It's right at 400 PSI. Um, you see that little button there? That releases the pressure. That's something you need to know because you need to release your pressure before you take the gauge off. Or right, it's really just gonna be a pain. So push that button to release the pressure in the gauge. When it shows zero, disconnect your quick coupler. Move on to cylinder three. All right, I'll show you three in a second. Okay, guys, we're on cylinder three. Cylinder three is hitting right at 400. So, cylinder four. All right, cylinder number four. Right at 400. Okay, moving on. All right, guys, we're on cylinder five back there. Right at 400. It looks a little goofy because I wasn't straight on it. But right at 400. Good. All right, I'm gonna jump up here. You see that one's a little bit of a bear to get to, but that's cylinder six. And we are just, looks like another 410. Now we hit 410 on cylinder one and cylinder six. We hit 400 on, on the other four. Um, we can chalk that up to a little error in the gauge, or maybe, hey, there is just slightly more compression, but within, you know, 10 pounds, that's just really not, gonna matter I wouldn't think so. so okay so that is our compression check good okay guys before we wrap all this up a couple side notes on this compression test on the end of the adapter there's a little Teflon ring at the end of each compression test make sure it's still there I've actually had really good luck with mine not coming off but when it was brand new I had to put a little bit of grease on the adapter side uh, for the Teflon. If you put it on both sides, it might end up staying inside the uh, the port. So, make sure that comes out on every test. These are the old injectors, and they honestly, they look pretty good. Um, ran the numbers, and they're just uh, factory. It's like 6818 or something like that. So, they're just factory injectors, but I'm going to go ahead and do an injection uh, test on them. We're going to test the injectors. That'll be in the next video. These are the new uh, 200 horsepower injectors, the 
five sixteenths, whatever. It's it's that's the way they rate them. So, anyways, new parts, old parts, valve covers we actually took off, and this is the factory um, intake. But we're doing that twin ram. So, and then also there's our injectors. So, all right, guys, this was part one. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. I never tell anybody to do that, so I'm telling you guys now. <laughs> all right, we'll see you on the next one.